Hey what's up everyone I'm about to do another survival run and I thought I'd throw together a, a series of three videos on how you can start and finish a good survival run. My survival runs uh, usually last around the two hour mark. I like to watch the sun come up but uh, this is not based on a speed run so if you're looking to learn how to quickly get in and beat other agents to the DZ this this might not be for you but uh, hopefully you could pick up a few tips along the way on how you can stay in the game longer. Uh, it is survival after all. I have died many times but I've also succeeded many times on extracting from the dark zone. So I'm just waiting in queue for my new session to start and if you like the videos that I put up please drop a like and subscribe. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Alright so we're just waiting for our session to start and I'll be talking through the entire uh, section so sorry if you have to hear my croaky voice <laughs> too much um, all right so let's just wait and see how we go this run okay it looks like we're starting let's get into survival uh, of course at the start you get your loading screen and a lot of people don't realize this but you can actually skip the video but it still loads you into the game so you still have to wait it's not an instant load well not for me anyway I'm in Australia so we do have some slow loading times we also get poor connection to host server unfortunately because we get thrown on a, a different server I believe the Asian servers anyway uh, this doesn't really hinder a great deal but sometimes you do experience lag so we'll see how we go today so I've just skipped the video I'm on PlayStation 4 so I'd press square to skip the video to get right into your survival game when you wake up uh, the first thing you want to do in your safe house is to grab the pill from the pill bag and grab your piece of fabric each uh, early safe house has one of these so you want to do that and I'm just going to quickly look where I am okay so we're in the bottom right now the idea is to get from here into the dark zone and extract when you go outside I'll just mark an area I know where there's some resources uh, uh, when you go outside you are going to start freezing so you'll want to move your butt as quickly as possible to the nearest fire barrel or shelter now I'm going to head over here because I know there's a few apartments with some resources and maybe even a gun there are also some, some enemies and I'd like to get there before another agent comes along and picks them up all right so there's a knee pads oh, don't go there I get stuck now I'm going to try and sneak up the ladder I do, do see some enemies inside uh, I might want to warm up first before I engage in combat right so my idea I've got to get up on that roof because there is a gun for me so I'll try and kill these guys just sneak over there never ever first rule of a survival is never go into combat when you are frozen you will immediately go unconscious and if you're with a teammate only he can he or she can pick you up or another player it's at most at this stage uh, most people will leave the game so just try and kill this guy you do only start with a pistol so I'm just going to grab that piece of clothing uh, I'm just going to have to hurry along in case another agent comes along another player and takes the gun oh, I just missed the ladder completely all right there's a gun here for me I hope it's a good one let's just have a look okay it's an LMG I'll deal with that that's not too bad oh uh, I forgot the tools there's also tools now I've been outside too long without warmth or proper clothing and I'm starting to freeze so I'll just duck inside here to warm up a little bit gotta watch out for these bombs when you're in a shelter you can see your uh, warmth is going up so that allows me to again venture outside quickly and collect more resources <coughs> excuse my croaky throat today it's winter here in Australia so I'll, I'll have a bit of a croaky throat so I apologize for that all right let's open a few more items grabbing a med kit 
uh, is important to have as many med kits as you can hold. When you start the game, you can only hold two. Uh, that's and the med kits are extremely important. They are the only thing that can uh, revive you if you go down from combat. Uh, you can't be revived once you're frozen, though. So I picked up a few resources here. I'm just going to venture into these apartments and collect some more goodies before I move on. Food is important. Now we talked about med kits, so med kits are great. We all know that med kits can heal you, but so can food. So if you watch my health meter, you'll notice it's now going up because I've taken an energy bar. Try and use those to heal yourself first before you you have the urge to pop a med kit. Using med kits is is you know if you desperately need to use one in combat, then by all means, but make sure you've got some spare ones left over because you will need one to pick yourself up. All right, hopefully I don't go down in this session, but if I do, you'll see why you need a med kit. So I'm just grabbing a few resources from this apartment. Okay, so I'll just jump out here and keep going. Um, I'm happy I've picked up some tools and I'll explain why once we get back to a, an early safe house. Alright, so just uh, keep venturing into different apartments and medicine is extremely important. The more you find, the longer you will last in survival. Now take your medicine. Taking medicine uh, stops your viral timer so you have one hour to live when you start or one hour and two minutes to live when you start the game so you've got to keep taking your any pills or medicine you find to uh, stop uh, that timer so the more you have the longer you can last and the longer it gives you to run around and collect resources etc all right so I've pretty well cleaned out most of the apartments so I'll just have a look at one more I believe I might have missed over here no I think I grabbed this one yep I did okay so just try not to backtrack too much um, I'm kind of losing concentration all right so <coughs> excuse me I'll just uh, have another quick look at this apartment over here I'm not sure if I ventured inside uh, I think someone may have been here already there's one apartment I know I have missed let's see if I can find it hey warm got uh, fire barrels like this. this is the quickest way you can warm up on the street so you can find them by looking at your mini map so there's that apartment there I rated that one there I believe there's one apartment with a suitcase in it that I might have missed all right let's take some uh, a liquid so if you drink an air uh, some water or soda it allows you to see uh, containers and boxes and cupboards and so on a lot easier they start to highlight highlight sooner so I've rated that one I've rated that one I do know I've missed something here okay one thing to know is as you see I've just taken some more medicine uh, medicine does last longer than the pill the painkiller so the more of those you collect the better all right I have found the apartment that I missed I just didn't uh, continue on from where I was so when you come across suitcases like this just open them and inside you'll find a piece of clothing the first thing you want to do is check whether the green arrows go the arrows go up you see the green arrows if they go up that means I've, it's a higher rated piece of uh, warmth than what you're currently wearing so I would equip that with triangle straight away I'm using PlayStation 4 so you're used to you'll need to choose your button equivalent so when you want to equip an item instead of having to go in the menu like I am now as you can see you've picked up uh, in your inventory I picked up a couple of pieces of gear I didn't equip them so what I want to do is check that they don't at the moment make my toughness go down so this one's an electronics one which I will use later on as I like to use my uh, turret so I will use a skill build now the weapon that I've picked up it's not a great one I don't like using LMGs so I'm not actually going to equip it I'll use my pistol for now 
uh, I did pick up a few clothing items so you go into appearance if you didn't equip it straight away and just pop it on that's how you can check your clothing rating I'm currently at negative 7 you'll want to get around negative 17 and above to sustain long periods of time out in the open alright so the best thing is to do if you didn't equip it when you were looking at it inspecting it is to quickly look in your menu alright now let's keep moving one thing you should do is designate a good path that you want to make in to, to get towards the dark zone. I know this is the hospital here, so I'm going to head up towards this way uh, to see if I can get some more medicine. Alright, so I'm just going to go back into the area where about where I found my gun. And I'm going to explode the bomb. Watch out for those booby trap bombs. They can cause great damage. A fire bomb like this uh, will obviously set the room on fire. So stay back until it dissipates. And then you can quickly keep moving. Uh, you'll see containers and so on along the way. Grab as many resources as you can. So you'll want to just quickly venture and through rooms and even shops and office buildings and stuff have great resources and another bomb there so I'm going to head up uh, north towards the hospital the idea is to move fast move quickly avoid enemies unless you feel that you can actually uh, you know tackle them with your gear and then you should have no problems okay so that was a bit of a mistake I came up on a roof thinking there was something here but there's not it's just a shelter so that wasted a little bit of time just be on the just stick with your path that you know uh, learn the map you'll have to do quite a few survival runs if you uh, uh, want to get good at survival basically you know just keep trying and every time you go in you'll know that oh there's a container here there's a box there I can open now now I know there's some enemies here my clothing ratings at seven so I'm not going to freeze just yet so let's just kill these guys if we can quickly without quite getting too much damage and this guy's going to try and have a whack at me get all, avoid them obviously just keep firing your pistol as quickly as you can and cover is your friend stay in cover while you fight if you can and always avoid the grenades always because they can cause massive amounts of damage it's a good idea to confuse your enemy like dance around them don't let them get a good shot on you well he's doing a bit of dancing okay and they always drop little resources make sure you pick those up because it can be ammunition and so on okay I hear someone else here he is oh, two more oh, got a swing couple of swings always reload and run away and find a better fighting position these guys haven't got guns <laughs> it is a little bit more difficult to fight with a pistol uh, but you do get used to it. Just try and pull the trigger as quickly as possible. Now as you can see I'm getting really cold so I'll just start a fire. Just hold square on uh, these barrels and you'll see you'll warm up uh, quickly. I don't need to completely warm up to, to move around and we'll go and grab a couple of resources. It's good to get the resources as quickly as possible because you may have other agents around and you do see them grabbing containers that you fought for and it gets a bit frustrating. There's a couple of enemies on the street but we'll let them go by because uh, we need to move on. I've got a candy bar or an energy bar so I'll take that and just to heal my heal myself. As you can see my health is going up. Always try and like I said use food to heal yourself rather than your med kit med kits are a really uh, high needed resource uh, if you will so let's just uh, warm up here and as you can see I'm now my timer has run out on my antiviral so I'll just take some pills that's all I have at the moment so we're going to keep moving straight towards the hospital just double checking uh, that oh, rooftops are also a great way to find resources let's just go up here 
as you can see I can see some glowing bags some more medicine or painkillers you can only carry three at a time there should be a gun here there it is let's hopefully it's a better gun than a LMG no it's a sniper rifle which is fine sniper rifles are good from shooting from rooftops and long distances and keeps you out of trouble you can you know tackle better enemies uh, stronger enemies when you're using a sniper rifle of course so grab as many resources as you can find along the way you can see some resources through buildings now do I want to go and get that probably so I'll go around just making sure I'm not going to run into enemies always try and warm up a little bit as you go if, uh, if your clothing rating is not as good as it should be so you don't want to be freezing okay I guess there's some resources in this apartment let's go and have a look you can hear a bomb that's gonna hurt I missed that one it was right there hiding so just got to be careful about those fantastic we found uh, an apartment with some clothing and as you can see this uh, wool scarf will make my rating go up so I will equip that immediately by holding pressing triangle and we'll open some more cupboards Okay, we've raided that apartment so we really need to keep moving just uh, having a look around see if there's anything else great some shoes excellent so my clothing rating after equipping a few clothing items has gone up to 11 just make sure you if you have the medication to keep taking your medic medicine avoid bombs again sometimes you need to just run past them as quickly as possible all right so I don't want to digress any further I am taking quite a long time to get towards the hospital uh, my food is uh, I still cannot take any more food you do have a time delay that you, you you're only allowed to take so much at uh, one time with regards to consumables um, I'll grab some grenades okay must keep moving uh, the whole idea is to get to resources uh, before anyone else does so that you have a better chance and crafting great gear in the dark zone so I just headed towards uh, the hospital if I can see anything along the way even better oh, fantastic weapon parts all right oh when you're collecting things from boxes it's a good idea to turn your camera you know so you see that no one's gonna sneak up on you and shoot at you etc picking up grenades is always missed but I find them of great help when uh, dealing with a group of enemies so um, just not quite healthy at the moment I'll just oh, he spotted me they're using assault rifles and I have my pistol so this stage I uh, don't want to get in too much to too much of a fight always pull back confuse your enemy by running in different directions I mean you are at a disadvantage using nothing but a pistol at this stage I do have that LMG but I don't want to equip it and I'll explain why further in so I'm just going to run past these guys or oh, don't be afraid to run away and fight another day it's it's a uh, it's a good philosophy of mine so you can you know I might have been uh, able to get some resources from those guys but my weapon at the moment is pretty weak grab some more food when I can okay so there's more enemies there I'll bypass those I know there is another weapon up at the hospital here or if you pick up uh, some weapon parts you can easily craft your own so I'm now at the hospital I need to warm up just go over to this fire barrel okay looks like I might have to engage in these guys so try and kill them as quickly as possible move from cover to cover areas there's a bit of warmth there I can warm up quickly if you're in trouble always fight around a fire barrel if you can okay so I've warmed up so I won't go unconscious if I go down 
All right, well, I'm getting hurt. So I'll take some more food if I can. No, I can't. My time has not run out. I'll just have to persevere. Oh, definitely getting hurt. So I'll stay in cover until I get my health back up. This is where grenades come in handy. All right, he's coming around this side. Okay, I've gone down. So when you do go down, get away from the bullet contact from your enemy so he can't keep shooting you and they do and if they shoot you you will go unconscious so where did he go oh he's still over there I'm getting shot from two sides warm up again just kill him you confuse them the better okay I've attracted more enemies so it might be a good idea to get in a more defendable position and a rooftop will do just nicely I've only got one more med kit so they're down there they won't really come up here so what I'm going to do is actually raid this rooftop while I can as my time is limited so I'll just go along and raid this and get my health back up by taking a candy bar I can only do that in another minute so We'll just stay up here, take our medication to prolong my timer. Okay, and while I can, I'll just raid this rooftop as time is everything. I know there's some resources up here. My temperature meter is quite good, so. Plus I have one med kit left. So now that I've uh, raided this rooftop, I'll go and see if I can deal with those enemies. Just checking they haven't come up. All right, so jumping over. There he is. He has come up. All right, so we'll just pick at them with our pistol. If need be, throw a grenade at them. Throwing grenades usually makes them move. Okay, looks like I'm gonna go down. Yep, I'm down. So I'll use my med kit and avoid them. If I can, otherwise I might will go unconscious. There are more med kits in the area, so I'll just go and grab one of those. Luckily, there's one here. Okay, so I have another med kit. Also grab this medication. Don't be afraid to run away from your enemies. I mean, I'm obviously outnumbered and outgunned. So I'll just keep moving on and taking pills as I go. I will get a couple more med kits uh, in this area because I am at the hospital. The hospital is a great uh, location to pick up extra medication and stuff. Okay, so I will need to warm up very, very soon. Uh, as I, Again, I'm freezing. Uh, don't go into combat while you're freezing. I know there's a shelter over here. I will go back to those guys, uh, avoid him. So I'll just go inside here. There may be an enemy inside, so I'll stay in cover. He hasn't spotted me yet. So I'll warm up. I can now take some food, which will increase my health. Okay, so I'm going to go back and collect those items that I uh, dropped uh, from those skies and if need be I will equip the LMG to help me fight them. The reason I'm not equipping it is I may need the weapon parts to create a better gun. So once you equip a, a gun you cannot unequip it unless you replace it with another, another weapon. Actually I'm going to, here's another med kit here, I'll grab that, that gives me my two again. And we're going to go upstairs. There is another weapon up here. I will go and get it. I do have to fight for it. Uh, some NPCs for it. So there is a weapon case up here. I'll go and get it. Just remember, again, always take your medicine to prolong your timer. I have 53 minutes left. You can drag that out to a couple of hours. 
All right, there's some enemies here. Again, I only have a pistol, but I see the weapon. Okay, so we'll throw a gas grenade at them. Give them a little bit of confusion. Just fire your pistol as quickly as possible. That's two down. Always stay in cover and fight. Especially when you're weak and until you get a better gun. Got another grenade. Okay, that should be all of them. Just be careful if you're not sure, have a good look. All right, they've given me a few resources. Another weapon there, and some green gear, and here is the weapon case. A tactical SASG shotgun. Okay, not too bad. You can use it. I don't prefer to use shotguns. I like submachine guns or assault rifles as they kill a lot faster. I'll just grab a couple of more things before I move off the rooftop here. Uh, there is a fire barrel down here I can warm up at. There it is. So I know the area quite well and that's how you learn survival is to actually get in and uh, you know experience the areas, know where your containers are etc. There's a couple of electronics boxes up here. Okay there's one here and again my health has gone down. When you, if I go to a safe house, my health will go back up. So if, if you're, sorry, a hideout, they call them hideouts. If you go to a hideout, for example here, you don't need to take uh, food or medicine, or sorry, food or a med kit. They will, it will, you'll heal to full health. So hideouts are a great way to get back to full health. All right, so what I am going to do though, is head over to that hideout get a and craft myself a better weapon uh, so because it's close at the early safe houses you have a limited amount of blueprints um, that you can that it will give you the further you get into the dark towards the dark zone the the better I'll just duck over here there is some clothing I can pick up out of a suitcase uh, I'm gonna watch those bombs oh it got me surprisingly and there's a oh, okay I'm going to go down if I bleed out going to cover and it should stop the bleeding okay that's what you've, you've got to be very careful about those bombs when you get a pulse you'll be able to see them so that's a good thing uh, I can take some food now so watch my health go up been a bit rough it seems to be there's no other players on the server to help me kill some enemies oh, there's some more food here I mean a lot of people bypass the food but it is your health source so it's a good idea to grab uh, as much as you can and another grenade all right um, also there's some more medication out here just checking I st I'm still uh, medicated I'll go and grab a couple of pills and so on from over here when you see ambulances uh, on the street, check around them. They might have a pill bag for you or a medication bag for you to pick up. Uh, police trucks also have weapon parts and armored trucks. So we're just going to duck into this uh, hideout or safe house uh, to, you know, make a few or oh, make a weapon for a start because I'm not happy with the ones I've picked up. Just another thing to note, this is a safe house that I did not start at but the early safe houses uh, every one of them has a pill bag as well as a piece of fabric so ducking into these early safe houses is a good way to get a couple of resources especially medication so I'll take that painkiller um, okay so looking at the stuff that I have picked up um, I picked up some blue gear now when you start in survival what you want to do is decide whether you want to make a build based on firearms stamina or electronics I like to make my based on electronics because I use a turret and sports station and pulse so pieces that I pick up um, you know you got to make sure that you use something better than what you already have so just have a look at all your items 
Okay, so that obviously that uh, blue mass there has more electronics. I'll just keep taking my medication, sorry. So looking at this blue mask, it tells me my skill power will go up as well as my toughness. So I'm going to equip that. And what you want to do is deconstruct anything that you don't need. All right, so that's an electronics uh, knee pad, so that's great. So just deconstruct, mark everything as junk and deconstruct anything you need. So you then have more resources to make better gear later on. Okay, so I've been given seven green fabric and one blue fabric, which is great. All right, now the reason I didn't equip any of these weapons is because I don't use them. Now I can deconstruct these. I'll keep the sniper rifle and I'll explain why. For weapon parts. Okay, so I've been given two blue weapon parts and one green. Now, I won't even equip the sniper rifle just yet, but the scope on it will come in very handy for later on. So, at the early safe houses, let's get used to our crafting bench. Alright, so the first thing I do at the early safe houses, if I have the resources, is to craft an extended mag. So, let's craft that. I'll craft two of those. The extended mag obviously will extend your magazine size because when you pick up a gun it's not got any mods on it and uh, you can obviously pop on an extended mag to extend its magazine size and you know there's nothing worse than face tanking an enemy and you have to reload so having that extended mag is a great way to help uh, fight your enemies in survival so craft your extended mag and they are only available at the early safe houses where you start the further you get into the dark towards the dark zone they no longer become available as a blueprint at your safe house so grab your extended mags at the early safe houses when you can now i'm going to make a weapon now i like to use the classic ak-47 because it shoots a lot straighter than the police m4 that kind of jumps around a bit so i'll, I'll use the classic ak-47 so now i'm going to equip that pop that on and I'm going to pop on one of those extended mags. Just check the high, highest rated mag. This one is 54%. So I'll pop that one on. And there you go. I've now got my first weapon. My primary firepower is only a thousand firearms, which is not great. But my skill power is 57. So what I'm going to be doing is building up my skill power with the gear that I find. You'll need to craft a basic virus filter to get inside the dark zone so I'll do that now because I have the resources okay so also you'd want to craft the advanced filter but I've run out of tools so what we do what we're going to do is go down to our material conversion and all the green items we've picked up make sure that you craft your extended mag before you convert your tools because they will convert green to blue and you won't have any to make the mag so what we're going to do here is just convert all of our green resources to blue and you'd want to check every time you go into a safe house that you can you know utilize your uh, resources better so now i can make the advanced virus filter and of course the additional med kit pouch this will allow me to hold three med kits all right i'm going to go down to the skills you have to craft your skills so let's uh craft a pulse at this early safe house I can't craft a turret because it's locked I have to venture further in so with regards to clothing uh, I don't craft these three pieces to start with I like to hang on to my resources so now I can um, so I can craft them later on so I can make do so I'll just pop on the pulse you have to equip it you get the standard pulse and I have a gun and I have some decent electronics for later on so we've got to keep moving so we gotta get the best experience we can from survival so the best thing is to craft quickly and move on fast